Hello guys and welcome back again. Okay, in this video we are going to export our 3D model inside our Babylon.js project. So to start that we need to file export. Uh, it's a GLTF file. So go to your project folder and export it as it is. I have already exported mine so that's why it has a character in here. And I ex export it inside here your Babylon JS project uh, create a models folder in here I have created one in here as you can see there is the GLT, GLB character GLB file so in this options you don't have to change anything in here and animation should be checked all but if you are exporting a static mesh Meaning to say, it doesn't have any armatures. It does. It doesn't have any bones or animations. Just a static mesh. For example, a chair, a house, anything that doesn't move. So you can just uncheck this one in here. So since we have a bone and a animations with our model, we are going to export it with animations. So export it. Then go here and as you can see we already have it in here okay so in our package station as you remember we have installed a Babylon JS loader because we need this so we can import our 3d model in our scene so going back I need this let's just delete this box over here and let's say cons model and we need the scene loader over here. So this is a asynchronous function. So we are using scene loader await and then import mesh async. And then in here, if you want to, if you have multiple 3D models in here, like for example, you have you build a garden and a house and you want to export everything so in here you have a house a garden a grass a trees and everything in here for example i will create another mesh in here it's a cube so now i have two objects over here and i've exported inside my uh, Babylon project in here you can specify a single or individual model in here by saying tree if that is the name of the 3d model inside your blender but since I want to export or import everything in here I'm just gonna leave it blank and then for a second parameter we are going to put the directory of our models and don't forget to put backlash here it's very important and lastly the file name which is character.glb and then again this would be on our scene so what is inside this model let's see so we are going to console lag our model Okay, so I forgot to import the Babylon JS loader module in here. That's why it's, it won't work. So again, I'm going to try this. So, models, console.log model. Okay, so as you can see, our character is already in here. If you press your... Okay, so what we have inside our mo our model, we have our animation groups, which is our animations. So we have our attack animation, our idle animation running, and our meshes in here. 
Oops, this one has a sword, the body, the helmet. Yep. <clears throat> this is all the meshes, as you can see. This is all the meshes that he has. This one, this one, this one, and this one. So that's all the meshes. And the skeletons and transform nodes. Okay, so it is playing the attack animation. So if you want to play just the this equals to model that animation groups. Did it say animation group? If you want to play just the idle at first, so we can say model that animation groups. or anims for short say anims for each animation animation that name is equals to idle then we are going to play this animation and we should set it to true so it will run it will loop all over As you can see, it's playing the idle animation. And then one more thing. Um, in here, let's just say scene that register after render. So this one is running, has one parameter, and that parameter is a function. So this function will run 60 times per second it's because it's the frames so every frame every after the render it's gonna run this function so in here we are going to set that in here and we are going to let's just say let camera speed is equals to maybe around three so this one and this one will be multiplied to camera speed and then multiply to the engine that get delta time divided by 1000 the engine that delta time is a the millisecond that it's giving us a number so it returns a number depending on how fast the frame uh, how fast a frame goes to another frame so just imagine you are um, reading a book so if you are going to another pages so imagine how fast your paper would go to from the right side to the left side so just imagine that's the frame so imagine how fast the frame is moving from another frame so it's giving us that time so if it's fast then it will give us a a smaller number so if it's fast it's gonna give us a higher millisecond so and it's gonna divide by 1000 and so it's gonna define in here so let's try this so if you move up right down and left it's quite it is smooth okay so we have uh, successfully imported our character in here but our problem is we can't make it move so if you press somewhere in our scene we can't uh, we can't let it go in there so into our next section we are going to control uh, our character by pressing our character and pressing some different location in our scene okay so i'm gonna so 
I'm gonna see you on our next section. Goodbye for now.